right, so today I'm going to walk through um, setting up a Swan Games catheter. Um, when these people come from the cath lab with the Swan in, most of the time they are not set up to actually transduce the PA pressures, the CVP, etc., etc. So um, it is the nurse's job to set this up once they get to the room. So they'll come in with the Swan, and it's normally sitting about like right here and you just have all these little ports hanging off of it. This may be a little bit different than the swan that you'll see when your patient comes in from the cath lab, um, but you will have your CVP port, which is the blue, your PA, which is the yellow, and then sometimes they'll come with an extra little infusion port here. And then we have our um, syringe with, that attaches for the balloon at the bottom of it, which is inside the patient um, for wedging. And then these are two of the cables for the um, temperature and to get your cardiac output. So we'll go over that in another video. Um, but yeah, typically they'll come in like this attached. Sometimes instead of blue caps, they'll have little stopcocks on the end of it. Um, but it's just so blood won't come out or air won't go in. So I'm just going to tape this down and we'll go through setting up this one. So patient comes in with that. You'll need to grab all the supplies. So it's the same as the A-line. You've got your liter of normal saline, your liter size pressure bag, um, and then in the bedroom there is this thing, it's the Edwards Life Sciences Swan Transducer Kit. So it's very similar to the single transducer for the A-line, except this is a triple lumen transducer. So it's got your PA, your A-line, and your CVP. Your patient may not have an A-line, so you may not need to connect that. You can just take it off, but it all comes together as a triple set. Um, you also need your triple transducer cable. It's got the red for A-line, yellow for PA, blue for CVP. This is stored with all the other cables by the monitors. And then if you do have an A-line set up, you'll have to get um, this two port converter plug thing that's also stored by the monitors um, because the monitors on the that we have in the rooms only have two ports for the red cables. And if you have your PA, CVP, and A-line, then you will need the splitter for it um, to plug in this end into the monitor and two of the ports into this. Um, and then obviously you'll need your transducer clip as well. And so this is labeled, we're gonna use all three of these colors. Um, and this is stored, it should be in the cabinet above the monitors as well. So I'm going to start by putting this transducer clip on here. Obviously if I was in a patient's room, I would have hand sanitizer, clean gloves, all that, but start opening up your supplies. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, prime and burp my bag. So it's the same thing as with the A-lines, where you want to burp the bag, you want to get all of the air out of it because it can be pressurized into the patient. So to do that, you would take off your little end cap on here. This would be a new bag of saline, but for educational purposes, I'm reusing the same one. Um, and you would go in, spike the little bag there, break the seal, pull the spike back out, get the air out of it, because just like with the A-line, any air that's in this bag could be pressurized in through this pressure bag into the patient, so we want to get all the air out of this bag. And then you will take your liter pressure bag and do my least favorite thing, which is pumping it up. And so you want it to get to 300 milligrams of mercury, which is in the green. Um, there are the three different colored sections on here. Um, just like with the arterial line video, but the white is where it's not pumped up enough. The green is where you want it, that's around 300. Um, and then when it gets to the red, that's too inflated, so you want to let a little bit of air out, but you want to pump this up until it gets to um, the green, and it takes forever. Okay, so we're in the green, and then I always turn the stopcock on here up towards the bag because air will leak out a little bit slower out of there. So you'll have to check this with all your assessments and everything um, just to make sure that this is pumped up because you do not want it to be less pressurized and to um, clot off your swan because you can have blood back flow into it if this isn't pressurized where it needs to be. And that's not fun to call and say that your swan is clotted off because you didn't have it pressurized enough. So then I'm going to take these cables and try to keep them not super twisted up and put them in the corresponding transducer holder. So red is going to go in red, that's your A-line one. Blue 
is going to go in the blue port, that is your CVP, and yellow is going to go into your yellow, and that's your PA. You always want to make sure that these connections are nice and tight because you don't want blood um, leaking out or air getting in. Okay? So you have then the ends here. So if you had an A line, um, most likely they would already have come back with a transduce. So I'm going to try to get that cord a little bit separate. But um, if they, if you're placing an A line, then you would save this with the white cap on until they um, connected it onto the patient and had it placed. So you would already have your A line set up. Um, so just refer back to the A line video if you need questions with that one. So just going to drop that. I wouldn't actually drop it in a patient's room, but we don't need it for this setting. So now that this is all hooked up and everything, you want to prime them through. So just like the A-line one, pull these little blue tabs. So we're going to go with the PA first, and we want to um, pull it until it primes all the way through. We don't want any air bubbles or air in the line because that can mess up your waveform and get flushed into the patient. So the yellow one, the PA is primed through. Now we're going to prime the CVP through. And I'll just say we'll prime the A-line one through too, just to pull that little tab. So no bubbles, check your lines, make sure there's nothing in it. Um, and that's all set. So then to hook up to the swan, as I said, yellow goes to yellow, blue goes to blue. So the CVP is the blue, and then the PA is the yellow here. As I said, sometimes they will have stopcocks on it instead, so the stopcock should be turned off to the patient when they come in. And so if they had that, then you would just scrub the hub per policy, um, let it dry, um, and then attach on. But if they come in with the blue caps or anything like that, we um, can clamp the line. So I have some little hemostats, so I can clamp the line or bend it off just so air doesn't get in. And so this is the yellow one, the PA. I am going to take my PA line. I would take this off, scrub it, let it dry, and then attach on. And that's so the yellow is connected to the yellow, detach my hemostat, and do the same thing for this blue, which is your CVP. So take off this cap, clean it, let it dry, and then attach on the blue to the blue. And so now you have your PA and your CVP attached onto your swan. This could already have something infusing into it. If you have a swan like this, there's two different types that are used um, here. And so this would just be an extra infusion port. And then these will go over hooking up cables and all of it. So those are all attached on. So the next thing you're going to do is hook up your cables with your monitor. And that is when you would be zeroing your lines out. So you're going to take your triple transducer cable. I'm just gonna say that we're hooking up the PA and the CVP now, not the A-line, so I'm not gonna use a splitter, but just know that that is the piece of equipment that's there in case you need it. So blue and yellow cables here, you can see here and here. So you'll bring it around. Just going to be double sure to make sh sure that I am double check and make sure that I am um, connecting the correct ones. So this is yellow, and I you can see on here it's the yellow line. It says zero BP. So I'm going to change this name and make sure you can scroll over and make sure that says PA. So you can do art fem PA CVP etc etc. So I'm going to select PA because of this is the yellow one. And so that is there, and I'm going to take the cable, attach it onto my PA that's on here, and we know that that's the PA because it's yellow, it's um, in the yellow slot, we did all the color coordinating things that we need to do earlier. So to zero the line, it's the same thing as your A lines, you take the stopcock that is in the securement device here, turn it up towards the patient, towards the patient is the hard, um, more narrow tubing. And then down is a larger tubing that's kind of squishier. So off to the patient, take off your little cap here. So we're zeroing it to atmospheric pressure. So that's off and in the correct place. So then you'll go here, click on your um, PA line and scroll all the way over to the top right and say zero PA. 
And so once you see your zero over zero, we know that it is done. And so then um, I would take a new blue cap, turn this stopcock off to atmospheric pressure, put my new little blue cap on. So that is all zeroed and ready. Don't pay attention to the numbers on here. It's not going to be accurate. So we're going to do the same for the CBP. So I'm going to go over and make sure that my CBP is plugged in. And I'm just doing this one by one right now. You can plug them all in at the same time, but just to make sure that I am transducing the correct um, pressure port to the correct label. And you can change the labels, but I just want to make sure when I'm setting up that yellows to yellow, blues to blue, reds to red. And so now I'm going to take our blue cable because that's what I plugged in. We're going to zero the CVP. So we're going to take the blue and put it to the blue and do the same process. So it pops up and it's already programmed for CVP in the blue, but if it wasn't CVP or if it said art or fem or anything like that, just make sure you change the label to say CVP. So same process, going to turn the stopcock up and off to the patient, take off this cap, scroll down to CVP, hit zero CVP, and it's zero, so I know I'm good to go. Going to turn the stopcock back off to atmospheric pressure, get a new blue cap, attach it on, and your CVP and PA are all hooked up and ready to go. Thank you.